My story is about the various effects the Nazi regime had on different members of my family and how this permeates into my life. I was surprised and amazed and shocked about the manifold ways of repression and the different forms of silence as modes of remembrance and mechanisms to cope with the past. A past that shocked me due to its destructive nature, its violence, due to its opportunism and due to its inhumanity. After the birth of my children and the death of my mother, several questions around the influence of the Nazi atrocities in our family emerged. And I understand my position in the family as a kind of connection between the different generations. I hope the spectator realizes that everybody is a narrator and a storyteller, and that everybody can engage into the different layers and nuances of remembrance and how they permeate into all of our lives and our societies. In order to keep memory alive, I think we should look for new forms of remembrance. Make remembrance more personal, for example. Encourage people to engage with their family histories and the emotions behind the stories. And I think we should create spaces in which memories and those forms of remembrance can be accessible to everybody.